Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. Look who is back, Sekina. Sekina comes in here from Boston and gets her maintenance adjustments regularly. And she's back in here today getting her adjustment to stay well. She has not had any reoccurrence of her side leg pain on that left side. And she does have some tightness in her low back because she's been moving some furniture and boxes and bags and everything, sitting on the planes all the time. So we're going to check her out and adjust her today and show you what it looks like to get over a herniated disc and live a normal life. Okay, let's place you forward and backwards for me, she kind of, and then back to neutral. Not too bad. Your head's just a little off to the left. You've been sleeping on your side a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Every night. <laughs> All right, so. Since I know she kind of joint range of motion and ligaments integrity, I'm going to ring ding her first. Okay, pull this right here, head up this way. Your mom doing okay? Mm-hmm. Tell her a hello. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I think most, most of y'all who have seen our videos for a while now know that she kind of had a severe herniated disc that was fragmented and it was laying on her sciatic nerve, the fragment was, so she had to have a neurosurgeon go in and clip that off. But she came in here after she got healed up and uh, after her surgery and we've been adjusting her on maintenance schedule ever since. There you go. Well, that was perfect. You feel that one all the way down? Yeah. It was actually easier than the last one, though. Yeah. I think I about pulled your socks out on that last one. <laughs> <laughs> that a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me are exactly even. That's a good start, she kind of. Good. Does that tighten up at all? Not really. Okay, good. Yeah, just a little bit right here on this left side. So I'm still adjusting her sacroiliac joint here on the left. And the sacrum, where it attaches to the L5 disc, I'm pushing the sacrum straight inferior away from L5 to open up the lumbosacral joint itself. There we go. L5 straight P to A, pushing it away from the intervertebral foramina. L4, L3, L2. Oh yeah. One more. There it is. It should feel even easier this time, should kind of, but you tell me. Yeah. Better? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, I'm gonna get your snack now. Don't go in there yet. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's turn you on your back. What are you getting adjusted about every three months or so? Um, no, more like every month. Every month now? Yeah. You've been here the last month? I think the last time I was here was for wait, what is it, August? Yeah, July. Uh -huh. No. Maybe I June was the last time months, I was here. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, slide down this way just yeah, no less too far. Go up just a tip. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Her shoulders, her clavicles, the AC joints here, the the sternoclavicular joints up here. These are her anterior costal sternal joints. And now I'm going to pull her leg. Patients who come here can't get out here without me pulling her leg and shooting them every time. There we go. Okay. Now let's set you up face towards Renee. Pretty hot outside, huh? Yeah. I had some patients here from New York today. 
we go, my God, it's hot here. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> yeah. Well, in Boston, our apartment doesn't have AC, so. Oh, it doesn't? <laughs> no, wow. so it feels like this inside. <laughs> They don't have as much humidity up there, though, do they? Or do they? No. I don't know if there's any place in the United States that has a whole lot more humidity than Houston. That's true. Let's stand here. Maybe Florida. Yeah. They're about equal. I was just in Florida. So I'm going to stretch these out first. <laughs> Try that again. This should be really even smoother. Mm -hmm. So she kind of came in here before she went to the neurosurgeon and had the back surgery. And we treated her, what, three times before you had the surgery? Three or four, yeah. Yeah, and you were pretty straight biomechanically. And some of the pain had gone away, but she still had that fragment laying on the sciatic nerve. So she had to go ahead and get that clipped off. Mm -hmm. And would you mind sharing with her? YouTube crack addicts worldwide about your experience of getting adjusted now since you've had your surgery. Because a lot of people are afraid to get surgery and mm -hmm. then come to see a chiropractor because they think it's going to mess it up. Oh, yeah. I was afraid of the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was afraid of not seeing a chiropractor so it wouldn't heal properly. Right. Um, so I'm thankful for being able to come here and help with the healing process. Oh, and you've been pretty functional too after mm -hmm. your surgery, right? Yeah, very yeah. functional. So, you know, we take care of some really difficult cases here at our office, and uh, we are going to make sure that we do everything that we need to do, even if that's referring you to a neurosurgeon, to take care of your best interest, the patient's best interest, mm -hmm. because that's really what matters to us is patients and their well-being. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, with Shekinah. We'll see y'all soon. Good